That way again. This should take two. It is the. There we are. Yeah, yep. Look at that. Now we're recording. We're live, man. Right. Live we're, Drybeck. Right. Where are we, Steve? Drybeck Farm near Armouthwear on the banks of the beautiful River Eden. Right. Show us around. This place is absolutely beautiful. Come. On, show us right. around. First of all, we'll go over this way, and this is what we call the Lantern House because I think it looks a bit like a traditional Chinese lantern. Right. Okay. So. We call it the lantern. Over there, behind it, you've got our little campsite. Up to 10 tents or camper vans, open from March to October. Right. That's where Steve lives up there. And he looks down on all the paupers down here, don't you, lad? Yeah, yeah, about in the tent. This is typical of all of our accommodation. They've each got their own private wood fired up tub. Oh, wood fires? Yeah. So that's just all been cleaned out, refilled, ready for this weekend's guests. So it's just like a wood burner. Like you get a bin full of logs and kindling ready to start with. There's a burner, you light your fire in there, give it about an hour and a half and it's up to heat. Is that it? Yeah. So you don't start it on a Friday and it gets warm on Sunday? No. <laughs> hour and a half, maybe two hours in winter. And also, the whole Covid situation, used to be shared facilities, everyone's now got their own private shower alongside. Happy days. And their own loop. Um, compost loop. There you go, that's where the, the campers are, he's going to tell us all this anyway. And then in here, all our other accommodations have a kitchen on the outside. Ah, oh, look at this! Tell you what, you're not expecting that, are you? No. It smells like a um, sauna. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's the uh, the one they're all made out of larch, which has a lovely scent to it. Uh, well supplied, we've got electricity, in men's water, so you get a little oven with grill and a double hob, an electric kettle, fridge, and all your crockery and utensils. And a wood burning stove. How cool is this? This pull out into a bed or something? Foot on sofa bed pulls out. And then you have your bedding for it in there. Already right. made up. That changed every month. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when, I when I think it's time to change my shirt, I'll change the bedding as well. Hey, look at that stove as well. This is nice, isn't it? Uh, you know, I wasn't expecting this. No? Good. No. Good. It's, it's bright nice. and light. And... It's nice to surprise. Basically. Ah. Well, there you go, your own little picnic area here. Sorry. This here, your own like, little barbie area. Yeah, I've been planted this willow two years ago, so this next winter I'll cut it right down and then next spring and summer it'll really sprout up and thicken up so it'll give you a, a nice little private split. Right, this is, this is absolutely... Ah, it is, it's idyllic. So, arm at weight. East Carlisle, not to be fused with the other arm of weight. Um, and if you want the getaway on your doorstep, well, you've got this spot here. This is your um, this is your campsite. As you say, all come with facilities and whatnot. Um, and another field over there. And not only can you come and camp here, um, or stay in one of the quirky little lodges. That was lovely in there. Um, you've got this as well. And he also does events. Well, he had loads of events booked for this year. March, April, May. But they got cancelled. Well, they all well got cancelled, didn't they? Um, yeah, look at that. They're hiding there between that one there. Kids having a good time. And then you got these quirky little places as well. Little gypsy caravan here. Look at that. Hi, so they have like events like they have um, like that stand up paddle boarding, um, beer festivals, like just like um, music events. And it's available for hire for various groups. Now 
Hey, because they've also got like barns over there as well. Oh, he's back. Hiya. Hiya. Are right, the people this... in there? Uh, no, not yet. Oh, come on, quick, hurry up before so they get in. Evelyn. Evelyn? Yeah. Look, there you go. Look. This, this, is, oh. this is probably my favourite because it's on private little corner. Looking out onto the river, you've got the beck just down here. And it, I think it's just fantastic. You know what? I could just keep this camera here. Yeah. Forever. <laughs> oh, here. Hot uh, tub. Yeah, this is the one I was telling you about, which was a bath I got out of the salvage yard in Penrith, where I got the commod from, from the toilet for the other. So it's a Japanese pool bath. Very yeah. deep, shaped like a seat inside. I drilled a couple of holes in it and plumbed a wood burning heater into it to yeah. heat it up. Have a lad. Have a fire, you can barbecue on it, cook a, cook a bit of food on it. They're all sighted, so the prevailing weather always comes from that direction. Yeah. So we've sighted them all so that you're not going to get the rain blowing in. Oh, nice. What, rain in Cumbria? Do you get much? <laughs> not, not often. No. Now and again. Ah, oh, look at this. It's like a work of art, isn't it? Yeah. Where'd you find this? Did you? So if you go up the steps, Steve, you'll see that that's a double bed on top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there's a, a little bed underneath that, that's fine for a kiddie, say up to about maybe 12 years of age, something like that. And little encampment, your own little enclosure. That's spot on, look, little picnic table outside, yeah. fire there. It's gorgeous, isn't it? I, I did not. I didn't even know this place existed until uh, it was last year, um, and uh, yeah, it's just just ticks so many boxes. Um, so get yourself booked on and come and enjoy this. Come and escape, and you know what? If you're in Carlisle, it's. What 25 minutes down the road might as well be a million miles away if you're in Penrith 45 minutes up the road not even that if you're out West Cumbria away oh, well an hour and an hour and ten right we're back Steve had to go and count his money right come on <laughs> here we are now we've just come over the little footbridge which comes over the uh, over the dry bed it's called, ah. Yeah, but it's not right though, is it? No. Right, this is our yurt. This is the one uh, accommodation that we've had the longest uh, ever since we first started. Right, so this was the very first one? Yeah. Oh, no, I, sorry. The yurt and the gypsy caravan no. together. Is someone in there? No, we can go in another one. Go and have a Again, bunches. It's so you can sit here and have a nice little fire pit going. Yeah. Fireball. I'm coming. I'm coming in here, like. Wow. Look at that. Yeah. That's mince, isn't it? Yeah. Really like them. Look, this this style of year, a lot of them, they have the roof poles that come straight down to the top of the walls. So here, I'll show you here roof poles that come straight down to there. These have got these steam bent roof poles, so it gives you more headroom all the way around. Wow. It's nice and cosy as well, it's warm, isn't it? it is, yeah, it's uh, amazing how the canvas absorbs the heat of the sun. Oh, there you and go. then, round the back of it, again, it's got its own hot tub. Screened off for a bit of privacy. Oh, you put water in them as well? Yeah. All year round? Yeah, yeah. Wow. You got to pay extra for the water? No. If you need more firewood, you pay extra for that. It's only like a tenner for a wheelbarrow load of firewood. It's not bad, is it? <laughs> well, what else we got? This is lovely, eh? Covid, everyone's got their own facilities, but these have been divided between the yurt yeah. and the shepherd's wagon over right. there. So, like, the yurt has the right-hand show and the right-hand blue, the shepherd's one, wagon, the left-hand ones. Very right, cool. What's happening with there? Over here. There you go. This is the Shepherd's Wagon kitchen. Within two minutes. 
Yeah, if you want to start moving your stuff in, and then I'll come over and see you very soon. Oh, I hate that, Lou. That's a litter. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know what? It is pristine here as well. Uh, that's because like, he's like a womble. Walks around all day, wimble and wombling. Uh, it's a shepherd's wagon. This is our newest oh. one. We put this in here last spring. What, this year? Uh, not this year, spring 2019. Uh, it smells like you've just painted it. Yeah, we, we bought it as a, just the basic, basically a shed on wheels. And then I lined it out, painted it all, put the stove in, put the bed in, put the electrics in. Oh Looks comfy that bed as well, eh? It is good. Bloody hell. And right. again, it also has its own private hot tub. In a particularly nice spot overlooking the room. Oh, dear me. How long have you had this spot then, Steve? 2009 we moved here, and we've wow. been doing this since 2011. Right. There you go. Hot tub. And imagine, right, I'm sat in the hot tub. Or you're sat in the hot tub. And that there. With your glass of bubbly. That there is your view. How amazing is that? Look at that. How cool is that? That's spot on that way. Oh, it is good, Steve. You enjoy that, aren't you? Yeah, do you just think, honest to God, it's like I, I, I fell in love with the place when I seen it the first time round. But like literally taking the time to go in yeah. and look at all your sheds, it's really nice. Shed. <laughs> Oh, no, seriously. No, it's beautiful. Absolutely mint. So that, is, that, is that all of them there, yeah? yeah? that's all of them. Right, and then we've got the barns where you'd have gigs and the digs. And... They're not great to look at at the minute. Right, so okay. A bit full of junk. And, uh... <laughs> What's the crack with... I was saying you do the stand up board festival, you have like little beer festivals, private yeah. events, private uh, functions. Live music nights, we have like blues nights, rock nights. Right. Uh, folk, and it's, folk music nights. But it's available for people to just come along and hire though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah so if you've got like a significant birthday, you know, 40th, 50th, whatever. And you can camp? You can camp. Yeah. If you're provisioning the, the boots and you've got space and this. Yeah, that. we've got a field that runs off the back of the barn, so you can right. use that, we can use that as a temporary campsite. And then it's like the camping and the barns right next to each other. It's lovely. It's a big fire pit for folks to sit around. Good. For however far in the future. Right, fantastic. Right, listen, I could waffle here all day, and it's it is mouth wateringly. <sighs> it's just <laughs> it's one yeah, it's one of them. It's one of them. I. <laughs> this is a rare old spot. This it's absolutely stunning. Um, as I say, you, you literally, you just, it's on your doorstep. You don't even know it's here. Yeah. Go and check it out. Go and have a look at the facey page. 20 minutes from Middle of Carlisle. 20 yeah. minutes from the Middle of Carlisle. I said 25 before, but if you go without traffic, if you go, yeah, okay, yeah. what have you? It's about 40 morning. minutes in Penrith. It's about an hour away from West Cumbria. And it's like an absolute peach, an absolute gem. And uh, it's only a ten of the night for these same uh, cabins. <laughs> All the price and everything else is online. Steve, thank you very much, sir. Uh, have a